Hello and welcome. With us in studio today is French Armenian producer Gorion Aprikian, who presented his movie Parajanov on the closing night of the Golden Apricot Film Festival. Gorion, welcome. Thank it you. It was an amazing experience, standing ovations, people crying in tears. What was your reaction like seeing this movie that you've worked so hard on play here in Armenia? Yes, we were uh, very anxious to, to see the reaction of Armenian audience because, uh, of course, uh, in Armenia it's different than in France. And, and, we, and I personally uh, was really uh, uh, surprised, not surprised, but uh, I really enjoyed that uh, Armenian audience laughed well at the jokes and, and uh, it catched the spirit of the movie and was also emotionally involved in this movie, far more maybe than uh, pure French audience. Uh, we, we see that the humor and the, the personality of Parajanov is so well known here that it's, uh, it's uh, uh, really for us warm to, to, to feel that. Uh, we feel like, uh, uh, like showing the life of Parajanov in, even if it was not his real country, but it's, it's his country by heart. It's such an enormous subject. I mean, he's a giant, Parajanov. He's a visionary. He defines cinema. How did you and your team, Serge Avedikian, and all of your talented people, how did you approach this project? What did you want to accomplish? Well, at, at the beginning, the project was Ukrainian. The idea of this project came from the uh, scriptwriter, Olena Fetisova, who, who has been also producer and co-directing the movie with Serge Avedikian. So it's a movie by Sarah Redikian and Olena Fetisova. And um, uh, they, uh, when, uh, they, they wanted to, because in Ukraine, uh, Parajanov is also a huge figure. It's the main uh, film, um, film figure uh, in uh, cinema, Ukrainian film figure in cinema is Parajanov. So he's an, an icon in Ukraine. He's an icon in uh, Georgia and also in Armenia, but no more in France. In France, he was well known, but uh, I have to say that the young generation has a bit forgotten him. And um, the, me as French producer, uh, my, my goal is also to, to remember, make people remember what Pergenov brought to, uh, to, the end, to the cinema and also to uh, not only to cinema, to, to a global aesthetic. Um, he was, uh, he was something, some, uh, he was, no, uh, sorry, somebody really free, uh, able to, to, to say what, what was up uh, in his mind. Um, Even in the most confined, controlled environments in the Soviet era. Yes, that's why he, has be, he, he was sent uh, in jail, as we can see in the movie. Uh, but he, didn't, he never defined himself as a political opponent. He was not a political opponent. He was somebody looking for art and beauty. And uh, his, his fight was not political. He was, it was really an artistic fight. Um, maybe, you know, what we said after the movie and when we have made this movie, we were wondering, maybe in, now in Western system, maybe he, was not, he, he would have not been able to to do this movie for economical reason, for a different kind of uh, censorship, but uh, not a political censorship, but maybe an economical censorship. So uh, Parajanov uh, would have been also somebody uh, very difficult to manage in our system. So it's not, the, it's not only the political system he was fighting for, he was fighting against, against uh, everything that was uh, preventing him from creating. Uh, creating and uh, making beauty, beautiful things. And for you to create this life that came to life on screen, you created Parajanov and we related as an audience, we believed Serge as Parajanov. What were the challenges for you, Ukrainian, French, Armenian producers, filmmakers? Well, there is um, uh, first uh, uh, a different point of uh, perspective if you are uh, French and if you are Ukrainian, Georgian and Armenian. Because for French, uh, Parajanov, as I said, is not so well known. So uh, we have to make the story of somebody who wants to make creation in a confined system, as you said, but not uh, a figure like it. 
for for uh, Ukrainian as Armenian and Georgian, uh, th the figure of Parzhenov is so well known that there is a lot of things you don't have to explain, and uh, you you suppose that the audience already know that. So there was a, a, diff a bit of uh, different approach in the in that uh, topic. The other uh, the other uh, trap uh, that uh, Serge really managed uh, very well as director was to um, you cannot speak a, make a movie about Parzhenov without um, taking in charge the aesthetic point of view. But Parzhenov has a st so strong aesthetic that you cannot do a movie, a uh, Parzhenov style movie. It will have been a, a huge trap. And Serge uh, Avedikian really succeeded in making a very aesthetic movie without copying Parzhenov, but making us understand what was his art and what was his style. But it's not a, a copy of its style. And uh, I'm quite uh, happy with this successful ap aesthetic approach of, uh, uh, of Serge Avedikian. It was truly a beautiful film, and I hope everyone in the audience will have a chance to see. Will they have a chance to see it? What happens now that it's premiered on Armenia? Where do you take it next? Now our challenge is the world distribution. Uh, in France and other countries. So now we are looking for sales agents for, for selling the movie uh, abroad and making people, uh, making this film released in uh, all over the world. So that's the challenge we are facing now. Um, Serge said the baptism happened now and this uh, film was now hopefully going to grow and travel the world. But this is not the only infant that you guys have created. Tell me about your past few films that you've been making and producing. Yes, I'm a, uh, I am a young producer, as you can see. Uh, actually, I was producer uh, in this job um, only f the, since uh, seven years. Before, I was uh, in publishing and uh, in, uh, in working in press. So, um, I have not so many movies, but uh, actually we can say that I'm finishing my fifth movie, which is not bad in seven years. Um, the first one uh, was called Ezra. It was about children soldiers in Sierra Leone. A very hard movie about, uh, at this time, a topic that was never been treated in cinema. And we, were, we have been the first to, to, to speak about that. And a um, and very interesting story about children soldiers. Um, then we produced a movie in Nicaragua, uh, also a social movie. Uh, more about uh, a young woman, uh, it's called uh, La Yuma. It's a young woman uh, struggling for uh, her life and her success in a very hard economical condition, and she's trying to get um, to, to make it through box. So, so she's, she's a, a million pesos baby, we can say. This movie. Million baby, <laughs> okay. And then before Parajanov, there was another film? And before Parajanov, we made a, um, a French movie, 100% French movie, with uh, Jean-Pierre Denis, which is a French well-known director. And uh, it's called Here Below. It's about a very tragic story, a true story, about a sister during the Second World War who fall, fall, fell in love, uh, fall in love, fell in love, fell in love. Uh, with um, a freedom fighter. And uh, but the guy betrayed her. So she gave the name of the net, uh, Freedom Fighter Network. So they learn it, and she, finally she has been executed by uh, the resistance. So it's uh, a real, so tragic story, but a beautiful movie and uh, uh, about uh, uh, somebody getting done and done and done uh, uh, because of love, actually. Love. And then you have a, another Armenian-themed production? Yes, we are actually finishing doing the post-production of uh, Moskvich Imser in Armenian, Moskvich My Love, uh, which is a beautiful story again. Um, the scriptwriter is Levon Minassian, living in uh, France, and uh, the director is uh, Adam Shabazian in Armenia. Uh, this is a story of uh, the Moskvich, which is a car uh, uh, well known during Soviet times uh, here. And, uh, and um, the, the pitch of the story, we can say it's a guy um, who has been promised because he was a good worker to get uh, a Moskvich during the Soviets. But uh, the system collapsed. He was a refugee from Azerbaijan and living in Armenia. Every, he lost everything. 
but he never gets this, this Moscovich. And suddenly he, he hears that there is one for sale uh, just, uh, just near, nearby. And he has to have it. He has to have it. How do you choose uh, these themes, these characters, out of a blank canvas that you can make movies from? What attracts you most? The story. Yes, the story. But um, uh, as a producer, there is two, two, main, um, two main angles to choose a movie. Uh, of course, the story and the ability to, to make it. Uh, of course, you can have beautiful story uh, and uh, very hard to, to release. For instance, uh, 40 Days of Musada, uh, everybody wants to produce it, but it's not so easy. You, if you have no money, you, you will make a, not a good film. So these two, this is it's, these two things. And, the, yeah, and the, what is the connection between these two is the director. We've been talking about movies, and I, before we go, I have to ask you, what did you think of The Golden Apricot? Yours was the closing film, but there were 200 other films, and all these Armenian filmmakers that have come to the table. What did you make of all that? Yes, it is my fourth time that I come to Golden Apricot, and I must say that uh, I've always been very impressed by the quality of the movies I, I've seen here, and, uh, and also uh, the, the improvement. Uh, each year there is new uh, talent, uh, talented young guy and girls making movies. For instance, uh, Maria Saikian, uh, um, I, uh, I change my name. Um, each year there is new and uh, new people. Uh, I was really impressed by uh, the film of uh, uh, Lucine Dink. Mm -hmm. uh, Saroy on Land. Uh, Saroy on Land. So um, I think this festival, this para Paradon in, in Armenian, uh, is very important for uh, for, the, for Armenia towards the rest of the world to show uh, how it's, uh, it's, uh, Armenia is a country of culture and also for Armenian filmmakers because uh, it starts to be a place where Armenian filmmakers go from all the, around the world to, to get in touch, to, get network, to network together. So it, it's more and more important. It's very important, this, uh, this uh, festival. It was also important because we got to see your film, Parachanov, and I hope the world gets to share in this beautiful experience that you and Serge Avidikian and all the talented people uh, were able to pull off. Thank you very much, Garin. We look forward to your films in the future, and hopefully you'll, we'll see you back uh, at the Golden Apricot next year. Yes, yes, I think so. Thank, thank you very, you very much. much. And thank you at home. We'll see you next time on CivilNet.